All right, everybody. It's Faster Friday here with the Payments Professor. Now, on this Faster Friday, I want to talk a little bit about use cases for real-time payments. That's the big one right there. That's like the holy grail when it comes to real-time payments I'm discovering. Why is that? Because everybody wants to know, well, how am I gonna use this? Where's it gonna come into play? I think it's gonna be used in cases where we have street vendors. I'm thinking a case like this, like a, a flea market or somewhere where we have a, a lot of people that are say on a street or in a crowded area that need to be able to send and receive payments. I'm also thinking of it like this. I don't want to have to carry cash around. I know in some cities, in some countries even, they're known for pickpockets. That, you know, hey, if you're carrying cash around, there's a good chance that your wallet, your purse is going to be stolen or your money is going to be stolen. You don't want that to happen. With vendors, if you're selling something, you want to sell everything and you don't want to suddenly be there at the end of the day holding a whole bunch of cash, right? But as a vendor, you want to know that that payment went through. You want to know that you've got your money. So I envision a situation like that to where we've got a lot of street vendors to an area where we've got a lot of people that are going to be, uh, normally would be exchanging cash. Yeah, I'm saying it might be able to replace cash in this instance. And wanting to be able to know with certainty that the payment's gone through. See, real-time payments would allow the vendor to be able to go through and send a request for payment to that person wanting to make that purchase. Let's say they're purchasing, I don't know, peanuts, all right? And you want to get a bag of peanuts. And I'm saying this because I bought some peanuts in Anchorage, Alaska at a flea market earlier this year. But I want to be able to get my peanuts. Now, that vendor, they want to make sure they get their money. And, well, I just want to be able to leave with my stuff. So, that vendor, in that case, if I didn't have cash, they could send me a request for payment. Oh, wait, what's that coming through on my phone? I got a request for payment. I can then do everything through my app or through my interface that's there for me to be able to send that payment to them. And bam, they're going to be able to then look and check on their device and know with certainty that they've received the payment. And it all takes place in a matter of seconds. So the situations where having a lot of cash is not such a good idea in those public areas to where maybe an ATM isn't available because you, you need to get the cash, I really do believe that there'll be a use case for real-time payments. Now, I do look forward to hearing from you guys. I do look forward to your comments. Let me know down below, how do you think about this? Is this a situation where real-time payments could be used? What others do you have? Let the payments professor know. That concludes this Faster Friday.